Hey guys, what is going on? Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today we are going to take a look at the Supercell Hidden Base. Now, what do I mean by a hidden base by Supercell? You're probably thinking you're crazy. Supercell doesn't have a hidden base design. Well, if we look at the map layout when we are in edit mode and we have no buildings, you can see on the ground there are these lighter hues of green. Um, and I wonder if they were put there on purpose. I don't know why that happens. Um, I'm not talking about the, there's the really dark ones right there and then the lighter ones. I'm talking about these ones right over here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see them. There's a little triangle or square there right in the center where you can see how some of them light up. And then when I zoom out, you can kind of see like an Aztec-y design there. We're going to fill that in with some walls and see if we can make a legitimate base with it. And then do some defenses up at 3,800 trophies. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in these areas with my walls, put in my defenses, and we'll see what it looks like at the end. What we ended up with when I filled in all those squares, it kind of looks like a little demonic face. Um, up at the top. I don't know why it kind of looks like it's got eyebrows and stuff like that And it just looks like a cool a cool statue or figurine. I don't know. It looks it looks really cool though So I highlighted all the squares I could um, I used all my walls now There were a couple spots left that I couldn't get there was one right here And I think that's advantageous for us that we leave that one out and then there was the one right in the center And I think that's gonna be where our town hall is gonna go. We're kind of go, um, gonna head towards the more southern teaser route so let's get to building this base and see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward so it's a little bit quicker and we can get to the defenses. Um, so let's see what I end up with, guys. All right, guys, so here we have the finished product. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, this is a gross space. I'm thinking that too. Um, I tried to pile on as much defense to the bottom as I can, uh, or as I could, but I don't think that's probably gonna be the best strategy. We might have a little bit of hiccups, but my hope is that once they get near the town hall, the king and the queen can lure them away. If not, we're gonna have to figure out something. We might put the clan castle where that third expo is up there. And uh, we might need to spread out our expos a little bit more. Maybe put our expos where the uh, the mortar is over here. Um, and uh, maybe where the dark elixir storage is over here. We might have to switch that around. In fact, I think I'm going to do that right now. I think that's the better choice. So I'm going to edit this. Um, let's remove... Rem nope. Remove, remove. And we're going to put this here. And the dark elixir storage is going to go right here. I think that's the better option. And then we're going to remove, and we're going to move this mortar over here, and we're going to put an expo over here, just so we have a little bit more air coverage on the sides, and our expos are reaching a lot more around the base, because I do have a lot of protection down here with my um, clan castle and my heroes. So I think that's a better design right there. We're going to stick with that one. Um, but yeah, this is the Supercell hidden base. I know it's a goofy concept to think about, but I just wanted to have fun with it. I've always noticed those little lighter squares on the map, and... Uh, messed around with it before but I wanted to show you guys so let's go ahead and move on to some defense 
Okay, guys, here we go with the first live defense. Now, we're going to see if we can win here. If we can, that'll be great. Um, I don't know. I guess this guy's just going for the loot. That's okay. We'll take the win. Maybe he's going to go for the town hall. Who knows? Let's see what this guy does. If he makes the town hall, I'm going to cry. This would be absolutely crazy. He's got the level 40 heroes, and uh, we need to rethink our lives if he beats this base right now, for sure. I think, I'm thinking like I really am. Maybe the expo would be better where the archer tower is and the clan castle would be better up top. We might have to make that change here. So yeah, he's going to take out my clan castle troops. And uh, I think he's going to go for it. I'm going to be really impressed if he's able to do this. I don't know what he has in the clan castle. Maybe a golem. But uh, I'm kind of scared to be honest. Let's see what this guy's got. Is he going in for it or no? He's from ADE. He wants it. I can tell he wants it. I got bombs. I got traps. What you want, man? Come on. Bring it. Yeah, I'm definitely putting the clan castle up top. Oh, no. He's coming from the top. Uh-oh. This should be interesting. His heroes are going to come from up there, too. Mm. We do have some mortars and some archer towers, though. Mortar's going to go down. We're actually taking out a lot of them. He still has a whole bunch of stuff left. And we're looking okay. His heroes are coming in from the side, believe it or not. Where's his queen? Okay, the king and the uh, the king's gonna fight here. King and king, king on king action right now. My king is gonna lose that, I believe. And he's gonna pump up his king here in a second. Dude, we're actually getting wrecked. This is not good. Here comes our Teslas though. I'm hoping our Teslas can be our saviors. Um, he still has his 40 queen. He hasn't put her in yet, but I'm assuming he's gonna put her in up there. Wow, we're absolutely getting wrecked. What? Oh, he got 59%. He just went for the one star. I think he could have two starred us. If he went for that town hall. But yeah, so that was our first defense, guys. Didn't go as planned. I really want to try to win a defense. So let's try another defense. I'm going to switch around the clan castle and put it up top where that expo is and bring the expo down on the bottom um, just because I think that'll be better for us. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, we're back with our next live defense. Now, we are being raided by somebody who is, I believe, Chinese. So we're probably going to lose this raid. Um, but let's see what he does. Putting down the golems. The golems are going to be really, really tanky. Clan castle hasn't come out yet. This is good for us, though, because we do have a lava hound in the clan castle this time. Um, we might have a little bit of luck. We're actually doing all right on the golems aspect. We're taking them down pretty quickly. But he put down a jump spell. I'm not sure why. Those jump spells are actually kind of useless for what he's doing. Here comes his king. Lava hound's going to come out, though. If we can take out the king, our lava hound should be able to distract that queen long enough for our other defenses to go ahead and take it out. The king's doing rather well, um, believe it or not. He's almost to the town hall. The bomb is not going to do it. Are we going to be able to take it out? Whoa. He stopped on one star because he probably knew the lava hound was going to be an issue. But people are getting to that town hall rather easily, and I don't like that. We're going to have to do something about that. So um, let's see if we can edit this base a little bit uh, a little bit better. So um, I'm going to move some stuff around. I don't know if I need to move my king and my queen. I think that's the direction I need to move in. So let's see if I can find a better spot for them. Okay, so as you can see, we moved our heroes behind our Inferno Towers, and I also added in the storages, the one that was over here. And um, I added another storage that was down here, and I switched it around with one of the dark elixir drills. So we're going to have that there now, a little bit of extra tankiness. And uh, our heroes are going to be a little bit closer to our town hall, so they're going to be harder to lure out. It's just going to be a better base, and I think, I think we might have some success with this one. Let's try one more time, guys. All right, guys, so I'm pulling up our last defense for now. Hopefully we can have some success on this one. Okay, he's going for the air attack. I do have a whole bunch of troops inside the clan castle, and my Lava Hound is still around, so that is good. Um, I do have a whole bunch of bombs that are about to pop, I believe, as soon as he gets a little bit closer to the base. Where are my air traps? Where are my air traps? I think they're all gone. Oh, no. No, he's actually doing really good. He hasn't even put down his heroes. We might get, like, three start here. The Kryptonite of the air attack. Oh, no. I still have some clan castle troops, though. The little Lava Pups are still there. He's doing really well, though. I think he's just going to put down his heroes and absolutely demolish me. Oh, man, that's that's brutal. Maybe I should have put the air sweeper facing the other directions. There's so many things we could have done better here. Or he's just going for the one star. And yeah, I think he's just going to go for the one star. But that makes me really sad. I think this base has potential, believe it or not. I don't think it has potential up here around 3,800 cups unfortunately fun base design I, i'm kind of sad i couldn't get any good um 
any good defenses for you guys but yeah so here was the supercell base design as you guys can see it was just a fun little thing with using the lighter hues on the map here let me go back and show you what i mean he's going he's going to go for the two star i think what is this guy doing is he going for the two star or not make up your mind dude what's yeah he's going for it where's the king going i want to see if he gets it he's gonna get it what am i talking about i'm <laughs> makes me so sad yeah i just didn't think the walls are, are good enough i mean it, it looks like a very nice spread out base but he's just gonna wreck the town all there is he even gonna go for the three star no he's not he's just gonna take one cup i'm not sure why he did that though why did he take out the town all just to be just i don't know if he was gonna get one cup anyway i don't see the point of taking that out unfortunately the supercell base design didn't work and uh, for those of you who are still a little bit confused on what I meant by the supercell base design, all I did was use the lighter hues of the map. As you guys can see when I zoom out here, it's a really good example of it. And I put the walls down on them. Um, oh no, we got the client out of sync air. So I put the walls down on them and that's how we designed our base. So really fun. Probably not going to work up here. Might work a little bit lower down in champs though. Um, we might get some people. Um, I'll have to mess around with this base again in the future. I'm going to keep it. Dude, that is really weird why I keep getting that. Um, but okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about the Supercell base design down in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get 500 likes and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.